Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 10 angels of Kabbalah. I felt it's really important to do this video because there is so much misinformation out there. I wanted to break down what's the role of each angel in our creation, what we can and can't ask them, how to approach an angel and just like what are the specialties for each angel. So the angels that I'm going to talk about are from the Kabbalistic tree. Um, this is a, a tree of Sfirot. We have 10 Sfirot. There are 10 levels of creation. And then each one is in charge of a different angel. I'm going to come from the 10th um, one, which is Malchut. I'm going to talk about uh, Archangel Uriel. Then we go to uh, Gabriel, which is Yesod, uh, Raphael, Chaniel, Michael, Hamel, Sidkiel, Tzifkiel, Raziel, and Metatron. I'm going to break down each one. I'm going to do it as fun as possible and bring examples from the Bible. Okay, you can even, if you have at home a Bible, you can literally open and see those names mentioned and understand the stories better. Angel. Okay, we're starting with Angel Uriel or Uriel. Okay, I speak Hebrew. I grew up most of my life in Israel, so I know how to say these names correctly. Uriel means the light of God. And this angel is associated with light, it's associated with fire, with lightning sometimes. So it's an angel that will light your way and will lead you to the right path for you. And when you work with this angel, understanding your path or understanding the right way can unlock six other dimensions for you. So it's so important to understand the right path for you. So when you walk a certain road, you get certain opportunities. So it's really important to understand what's right for you. He's the angel, well, supposedly the angel that told Noah in the uh, biblical story about the flood, about the disaster that's supposed to come and he gave him enough time to build the ark. So he will might he might give you warnings if you're not in the right path or you know if there's a disaster coming to you. So he's the one that uh, will tell you that and maybe give you guidance or what you should do. So he will sharpen your senses to understand um, how to uh, what to do or understand or see things better. Yeah. So he sometimes illustrated um, as an angel holding a fire in his hand. So this is a way to recognize him. And the reason that he's so important is because, okay, this is the tree of life. And usually it's divided into two. Um, we have the three upper sfirot. We have light gray black. You see, they are kind of the same color family. And then we have the lower ones. And in the lower ones, the seven lower ones, Uriel, I mean Malchut, ten sphira. He is the one, this one um, can unlock all these six. Okay, so this is considered to be a more feminine um, energy. Uh, and when this energy, when the feminine lights up, when the feminine transmutes negative to positive, when she turns uh, disadvantage to the advantage, it's like... Pfft, the six other light up and you know there's a whole universe that can come out of that so that's why it's important um uriel is associated with the color brown so if you want to work with this energy maybe lighting a brown candle and meditating on that can be helpful so uriel uh, can give you practical advice in your daily life so the upper levels of uh, the tree would be the more higher spiritual ones and the lower ones would be give you a practical advice for your daily life you know like really really breaking it down to you so that's why it's it can be so important to work with him all right we're continuing with Archangel Gabriel or the name Gavriel. Okay, that means God's strength. And he's the angel to call upon when you feel helpless, when you need strength, when you need to build self esteem. He can also help you interpret your dreams and bridge. Let's say if you are into spirituality, bridge spirituality to your daily life. Okay, so knowing how to apply it. 
He's a really powerful angel. He's one of the only two angels that mentioned in the Bible in his name. Okay, it's him and Michael. And if you open a Bible, you can actually read about his abilities. I chose to read from Daniel, uh, the book of Daniel, about the dream interpretation. So if you open the book, it's chapter 8, Daniel chapter 8, 16. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli and called and said, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision. The vision means the dream. On my face, but he said to me, understand, son of man, that the vision refers to the time of the end. Okay, he's a sort of teacher teaching how to understand our dreams. And then again, at chapter 9, it's at 21, it says, Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I'm, I've seen in the vision at the beginning, ring, and he informed me and talked to me and said, Oh, Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand. He can seem like a teacher, like a mystic, but his primary strength is his courage. Okay, so he is strong enough to destroy a city of sin and is strong enough to destroy a whole army it's kind of destroying the unpure okay helping you to connect more and more to god i personally love gabriel gabriel i do work with this angel the other last thing i want to mention about him is that he's considered to be the angel of children and in charge of children's um, well-being if you have any requests about children's or birth you can turn to Gabriel and there is a story that says that you know before kids come to the world he's the one that's in charge that they will forget everything they've experienced perhaps as a soul perhaps in a previous incarnation and come to the world with like a clean chapter the color of Gabriel is purple so you might want to light a purple candle when you work with him and his Sfira is number nine, it's Yesod. We're continuing with Raphael. The meaning of the word Raphael or, or Raphael means God's healer, God's healing. So if you need any uh, form of healing medicine, Raphael is an uh, angel to turn to. So it can be either physical or let's say mental. He's associated with medicine, science, knowledge, and the way he works, he might point you to information that can help you in your healing. It can be a specialist, it can be books, some piece of knowledge or information that can really, really help you. He's a protector of travelers. So if you're before um, traveling somewhere long distance or short distance, you can call and ha use his protection. He is considered to be the f most friendly and funny, you know, sense of humor, heals, laughter heals. Um, his energy is really, really nice. I personally, I designed this print. I had it custom made for me and I have this on my wall all the time. I, I printed this also for my mother and my sister. I personally do like um, this energy. It's a protective energy. It's a very healing one. Um, my nephew's name is Rafael, so, and he's adorable. He is really funny and he is really sweet and he's super talented too. Next is Chaniel, the angel that will bring love into your life. I feel this is such an important angel and it's not, you know, there's not enough talk about it. But this is the relationship therapist. You can turn to Chaniel in anything about relationships and it's relationships in family, work, romance, whatever. So this angel is in charge of beauty, love and harmony in the world's emotions and pleasure. So sometimes the angel can turn you to be more in nature, to tune into nature's frequency and to feel that pleasure and beauty of nature. The color of uh, Chaniel is green. It can lift your mood when you ask for uh, Chaniel's help. And it's often pictured as a sort of very slightly feminine, um, looking like a bride with a bouquet. And this angel sometimes work with spiritual teachers or anyone that promotes universal love. And as we all know, love is love. It's a feeling of connectedness. It's a feeling, it's divine feeling. It's God's love. And that's the feeling when you feel when you can walk and see a beautiful um, scene. It can be the feeling when you're with your lover and it can be the feeling when you're with your children. It's the same love. 
Next is Archangel Michael. You probably know him already. He's the most famous of all. Remember when I told you when I spoke about Archangel Gabriel that are two archangels mentioned in the Bible? Well, Michael is the second one and he can help you lead. So if you are a leader, if you want to lead a group, if you're a manager, he's the angel to turn to. So he helps with everything like responsibility, authority, leadership. He was the one that appeared before Moses in the form of the burning bush and after that Moses was the one to lead the Israelites out of uh, Egypt he became a huge leader Michael is considered to be the prince of light fighting against darkness so what he does is actually pave the way back to the Creator so paving the way back to God kind of what the Israelites did. They went from darkness of slavery to light, to being uh, independent and free. Okay, the color of Archangel that I'm teaching is yellow. Uh, sometimes people say it's blue. Well, from the Kabbalistic tree, the color that is associated with Tiferet, which is the center of the tree, it's yellow. Okay, and Michael is in charge of this one. Next is Archangel Kamel or Chamel. He's the more uh, warrior energy, uh, the tough parent. He's the angel that will help you with challenges, with something that you feel it's hard for you to face. This is the angel to turn to. He will educate you maybe toughly, but the rewards he will give you would be enormous. So when you turn to him, you might turn to him with the idea that maybe you have done something wrong in the past or, will, or are open enough to realize what you have done to correct your ways. So he will point to you at an event or something that you need to correct in order to get a reward. So that correction might be to compensate another person or the person you've harmed, or it can be in the form of raising your own spirituality and awareness, letting you know you need to meditate more, you need to study more, you need to uh, maybe journal. There are tasks that this angel can give you in order to compensate over things you've done in the past. The color he's associated with is red. And for me, it's, it's a Mars energy. It's kind of the emperor. When you want to step up your game, when you are wanting to face a challenge, this is the angel to turn to. Next is Archangel Tzidkiel. He's the angel of abundance. I'm sure that that's something you probably want. And it's important to learn how to do it through his energy. Okay. His, associated with the fourth sphira, the color blue, as opposed to Hamel, the angel we learned about before, who was kind of the strict parent. This angel is more forgiving, loving, gentle. He will accept you and forgive you no matter what and not ask for you for any test or anything you need to do. He's in charge of the equal distribution of resources. So by turning to him, you will get what you deserve and will help you with forgiveness of others. And uh, if you're asking for forgiveness, so sometimes we kind of like block the abundance coming into our lives by holding resentment to others, not forgiving. So when we forgive, we kind of open that stream of love to flow into our life without us kind of like holding a hard energy inside. Uh, in the Bible, they say he was the angel that rescued Yitzchak when Abraham uh, was instructed to kill his son Yitzchak. It was Tzidkiel who was um, Yitzchak or Isaac's angel that stopped him. So he can be a protector of children too. There's a beautiful story about him, about Angel Tzidkiel in a book called Sefer HaYecholot, the book of abilities, when he took a group of souls of saints to bathe in the Dinul River. He took these souls to bathe in a river that is of blue flame. It's a, it's a river that purifies these souls. So by turning to him, you you're purified something in you it just flows better uh, the color is blue and you might wanna uh, in your meditation maybe use the idea of this 
Blue Flame River. He's a wonderful uh, angel. A lot of people that have been working with this energy did say that they have received more abundance. You can try and see for yourself. Okay, so now we finished the seven lower Sfirot and I will explain now on the three top ones. Now, these are considered to be really, really high energies to deal with. Some of these angels would not reveal themselves to you or not reveal their secrets because they feel you are not ready. I am going to focus more about Raziel and Metatron. Uh, just because I personally did not find a lot of information about Tzifkiel, maybe could be that I'm not ready for it either, but I will share uh, what I have found. Tzifkiel, the color is black and he's the angel that will help us dissolve the darkness. He's associated with the third Sphira, which is Bina, and that means understanding. So there is wisdom and there is understanding. And the idea is that he will help you sh see and understand the truth and grow through your discoveries. So he might promote studying more or just encourage you to grow and grow and grow and study. The next angel is Raziel or Raziel, one of my personal favorites. It's the angel that will reveal to you your spiritual destiny. The color is gray and he's associated with the second sphira, which is called Chochmah. He has a lot of uh, divine wisdom, spiritual wisdom that he doesn't reveal to just anyone. So he kind of chooses you back. Okay. Uh, for example, I've known about this angel for a long time and only lately I got into his book, which is called the Book of Raziel. There is actually a book that he wrote or that he dictated and in there there is 1,500 secrets of creation, uh, hidden knowledges about um, heaven, about earth. It's fascinating. Uh, everything is there, by the way. And uh, yeah, he, like I said, he shares this with them only with who he sees as worthy. So I do recommend you to check him out and the book of Raziel too. Last but not least, Metatron, or maybe just first, okay? This is considered the highest of angels. Some don't even call him by his name, okay? Some rabbis would say Matat and not Metatron. He actually has 72 different names. He's the angel of God, considered to be God's secretary. And he's the angel to connect you to your spiritual potential. The color of him is white and he's considered to be an angel that is a little different than the others. He was first a human and then he became an angel. And other angels were just created as light beings, light energy to begin with, but not him. His knowledge is really from a higher perspective, a higher understanding of things. His knowledge unites all philosophies, all religions. Uh, in the Bible, he was considered to be the pillar of fire, walking in front of the Israelites, walking them from slavery to freedom in the desert, okay? He was the one that they followed. Like I said, he was a human before. Uh, they say he was Hanoch, that was a figure in the Bible. He lived in a time that was, let's say, a more difficult time. He was a relatively simple person with the uh, ability to write. He documented a lot of um, the things that were happening in that time. It was uh, not easy. He also had an occupation. He was a shoemaker. He made sandals. He used to uh, sew sandals and they say that with every seam that he did, he was grateful and appreciative to God. So this is kind of a message to us to say that we are always witnessed by God and our thoughts and intentions are witnessed and when he died when they described his death it was not uh, normal they say God just took him quickly uh, to him okay God wanted him close to him he is the angel of the first sphira which is Keter means crown all right guys i hope you liked this video i hope it gave you a better understanding about the angels i hope i made you want to know more and study more about them i might do a video in the future about a meditation to connect better to 
each angel. They are very powerful meditations. You can get a lot of information there. And uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments if you like this video. Thank you so much. Bye.